line, uh, especially going south and northbound. On this particular day, this we were. I'm actually pleading out to truck drivers who are actually headed. Uh, I think this is southbound on I-459 through the um, Hoover, Birmingham area to view, review their their cameras in their uh, or have their companies to review their cameras that are in your in their dashes. Yeah. Um, so you you were saying you guys you guys operate all hours of the day and night. You see a lot of stuff, don't you? Right, and a lot of times with. Uh, having a child like that on the side of the road, a, a truck driver may have seen the situation, but not really put it all together. May have saw her with the child thinking they was probably just using the bathroom or something like that. Right. Not even remotely putting it together. They, it, it was her stopping to try to assist some, assist the child. Right. And because they saw that part of it, they may ignore it. Um, but in actuality, they don't know that they may be, may have witnessed some vital information or vital situation. Yeah. And, but. Somebody probably saw something. Correct, correct. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there was probably a, I would almost guarantee that there was a truck driver that came along before she did. Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? So we're back with another Jenny Gang YouTube video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't forget any of my uploads. So I just got in from Alabama, Birmingham, most of you know that I travel there for my physical work. And most of the time I stay two days. This week I only done one because my mom had surgery. But I can't help but chime in on this topic. So, Miss Carly Russell, bring that ass here, girl. Now, most of you already heard about this particular situation. A woman driving along a highway in Alabama, outskirts of Birmingham, where I just came from. 9.30 at night. Now, I'm not sure if this video will go up before my vlog does of my travel this weekend. Alabama is nothing but trees and, like, mountains and stuff, right? Like, it's amazing how many mountains and stuff there is there. So, if you're driving on a highway anywhere, let alone... Alabama, and you see someone walking, child, puppy, uh, boy, girl, whatever. Ain't nobody really stopping like that, right? I'm sorry. You could be, <sighs> this is, see, this coming from, this is making it seem like I'm not a good Samaritan. I'm a good Samaritan, but I'm also very cautious. You can actually call, say I'm a little bit scary, but I'm not stopping for nobody at no 930 at night. So we don't know what the real situation is with this particular situation. So what's supposed to have happened was Carly's driving on the highway. She sees a child walking. She wants to help the child. She's on the phone with her sister-in-law or somebody in her family. They're telling her like, hey, just call the police. You know, don't go get the child. She gets out of her car to get the child. The child's not even responding to her as she's trying to help it. And then boom. Her and the child are gone. I don't think anybody heard an adult. They didn't hear anything. So first things first, like I said, just being in that area, ain't nobody really trying to stop on the side of the road that late at night. If Carly is completely innocent, my apologies will go out to her once this stuff is done and over with. My initial thought when people explained it to me, I said, okay, maybe she's a little challenged. You know, because I just seem, I feel like even with a good heart, a person who is in their right mind would not be stopping on the side of the road to help anybody. It just screamed set up to me, right? It screamed someone using a child as bait to make someone stop. Boom, I'm thinking sex trafficking ring. Let's grab the person. But as time goes on, fast forward, I don't know, went to work, got off, woke up this morning. Carly is no longer kidnapped anymore she arrives home to her mother's house on foot and the whole world is oh my god thank you so much i'm glad she came home glad she's safe i am too because at first i thought this was like i said even in this weirdness i said dang these sex trafficking people is getting they're getting more and more brazen but some things my spidey senses just make me feel like are setups like it literally gave Iraq to me 
it gave when they put these children out there with the bombs and stuff on them and they go send them on a pretty much a kamikaze mission and the soldier has to make a decision of whether he's going to help the child or let him and the child get blown up that's what this whole situation is given was given to me that's past tense now how jenny gang is feeling i'm feeling like carly either you are one of the blessedest people that's not a word y'all the most blessed people on planet earth who have been kidnapped from a strange situation reward money was collected 60 grand i believe and you arrive back at home on foot i think you're mentally kind of messed up but physically unscathed you ain't been beat you ain't been i mean we don't know she might have you know been essayed or whatever if but y'all what i'm trying to say is without judging to be mean or evil i think this was a setup from the very start i don't think it's just whoever put the child out there oh we don't even know if that's true and even the people who are talking about it people who don't have nothing to do with it sound fishy to me the intro you know what i'm saying about the truck drivers okay um let me tell y'all either she's very blessed like i said or this whole thing was made up out of mental illness for attention or either getting that reward money carly is a nurse she's not anybody that doesn't have smarts and not to mention when she was on the phone with whoever she was talking to they begged her not to actually help that child but she done it anyway and then she started screaming afterwards her phone and everything else is found y'all i'm sorry i'm not buying it so before i make all of y'all feel like jenny just mean or whatever she aren't gemini shit let's let this story continue to play out and see exactly what happened because if she is lying if she did this for any reason she is the new jesse smollett if she is not lying my apologies to her and her family and whoever the perps are i hope y'all get put under the jail for using such an evil heart touching tactic to grab somebody those are my thoughts on this let me know what y'all think and tell me y'all honest truth do y'all believe this y'all 